In this video, I'm going to show you how to format a USB thumb drive for use with a CDJ. Now, doing this ensures the compatibility of that thumb drive. And the reason for that is because there are tons of file systems out there. Basically, when you format a thumb drive, you are able to specify what type of file system you're using. You can think of file system as a way of organizing things. It's how the USB specifies how a file is stored, how stuff like music and images and you know other documents are stored on that thumb drive and it really depends uh, what you're going to use based on what os you're using whether you are on a mac or on a pc some file systems work with both now they all have their advantages and disadvantages but there is only one system at the time of this filming that is as close to a near universal file system that you can use whenever you're formatting a thumb drive, and that is called FAT32. FAT32 is a file system that basically works with both Mac and Windows PCs. It can be read and written by both computer systems. And it also, most importantly, is able to be read by Pioneer CDJs and even Denon DJ SE5000 and Primes. Basically, any type of media player with a USB slot. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to format that. And while we're at it, let me just mention some disadvantages of the FAT32. While it's cool that, you know, you can use it with Mac and Windows PCs and you're able to add files, remove, and all of that, there is a file size limit. That means you can't add or remove files larger than four gigabytes. Now, that won't really be a problem if you're just gonna be using this for spinning because how many songs do you have that are like upwards of five gigabytes per track, right? It's practically non-existent, at least, again, not at the time of this filming. You're usually spinning with MP3s, or if, even if you're using like high-res audio or FLAC files, they're just like a couple of hundred megabytes per song. You don't have a song that's larger than four gigs. Another disadvantage is that while it's easy to do it if you're using a Mac computer, it's easy to format a thumb drive using FAT32. If you are on a Windows PC, it can be a little bit difficult because FAT32 is a pretty old old file system. That's why it's pretty much compatible with just about anything. But there is a drawback. It can't go beyond 32 gigabytes. If you try to format a thumb drive that's say 64 gigs, you can't just plug it into your computer, go to Windows, and then you know format the thumb drive. You're gonna have to download and install an app that lets you format that thumb drive that's larger than 32 gigabytes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm here on my Mac and I'm gonna show you how to format a thumb drive to FAT32. It's pretty easy, just go to Applications, scroll all the way down to Utilities, then click on Disk Utility, and then choose your thumb drive. For me, it's over here. And currently you can already see that it is formatted to FAT32 because I've done the formatting at one point in the past, but let me just show you how easy it is. Once you've selected the thumb drive, click on Erase, Go to Format and then choose MS-DOS FAT. Click Erase and it will start the formatting process. Quick and easy. Now you've got it formatted to FAT32 and you can add music to this and you can spin with it on just about any CDJ or media player. All right, so for all you Windows PC users, here's how to do it. You need to first download an app called FAT32 Format. And why is that? Well, if you plug in a USB thumb drive that is larger than 32 gigs, you won't be able to format it using the Windows built-in format command. Let's go ahead and try that right now. I'm gonna pull up Windows Explorer. Here we are. Down, and this is my thumb drive over here, USB drive F and it's not being recognized because this was previously formatted for Mac use. So I'm gonna click on Format Disk, and if, as you can see, the capacity is over 32 gigs. This is a 64 gig drive, and right now, the capacity is 59.5 GB. If you go to File System, you only get XFAT and NTFS, and we don't want those file systems. What we want is FAT32. Again, we need that for the near universal compatibility between Mac and PC devices, as well as CDJs and other media players. So no, this just won't do. And that's the reason why you need to download the app called FAT32 Format. So let's pull up our um, browser over here and just type in FAT32 Format. Let's download that. It's not a very big app, so this should download and install pretty quickly. Here we are, so once it's finished downloading, just run the app, follow the prompts. 
Okay, cool. So this is the FAT32 format interface. Now make sure that you are pointing to the right uh, thumb drive location. It's supposed to be drive F. Here we are. So yes, here we are, 63 gig or 64 gig. Make sure the allocation unit size is set to 1496, and then go ahead and type in whatever name you want this to be. CJ drive, and then click on start. You really want to format drive F, all data will be lost. Yes, because again, whenever you format a thumb drive, you are basically erasing everything and replacing the file system that is built in it. So go ahead and click OK. Make sure you've backed everything up if you got music in there. Just wait for this to finish. Awesome, it's done. So click close. And we now have our FAT32 USB thumb drive formatted. And we can double check that by pulling up Windows Explorer again, going to drive F. It's now accessible here in Windows. Now right click, go to properties. And if you take a look at this window, the file system says FAT32. So yes, mission accomplished. That's all there is to it. So I hope you like this little technical video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.